guys, we're going to Paris. <laughs> How are you? I'm so excited. Oh gosh, I've been up since 3 a.m. and it's literally just past nine. I literally could not sleep. Let's start off with the camera. I have a new camera. I'm filming on the ZV-1. It's not new in the camera sphere, but it's new to me. After Barcelona, I literally was just so frustrated with my setup with the whole like DJI gimbal. It was just too high tech for me. I just needed a point and shoot. I previously had the Panasonic LX15 that I sold when I wasn't vlogging and decided to get this one because I've been vlogging so much. So this is what my current setup looks like. So I will link the camera and I will also link this little handheld tripod that I picked up for it down below. We're going on a trip. We're going on a trip. Back to here. Just finished filming my pack with me and getting ready for the day. If you want to see everything I'm taking with me, make sure you check out that video. It would have gone up before this one. I've had one solar trip once before and it was to the Cotswolds and Bath. Um, that was last year, and this is my first major solo trip. I've always wanted to go to Paris. I'm so excited. It's one of those cities that has been on my bucket list for years. Like, let me show you. This year, I decided to make a physical uh, vision board, and this is literally the only city. You can see the Eiffel Tower. I'm going to be there soon. So I want to go and replicate this picture. I also really want to go to Morocco. Those are the only two places that were on my bucket list. But Paris for me just epitomizes my European trip. You can also see a Chanel bag. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping. So Paris for me has just been like the one European country that was really up there on my list. But funnily enough, it was the one that was like the hardest to find anyone that wanted to go to with me to. I just decided to go on my own. Own, and I think that I'm gonna have a great time. I'm claiming that I'm gonna have a great time. I'm feeling really positive about it. So there was a little part of me that was a little nervous and thought oh, maybe I should push it back. <laughs> but the closer it's gotten to the chip, I was like, no, I'm not gonna push it back. I'm super excited. I'm gonna go. You only live once. And my sister did a solo trip to Paris a couple years ago and she's five years younger than me. And if she could do it, I could do it. So I'm getting the Eurostar from King's Cross. It's 9.30. I don't need to leave the house until about 10.30. So excited, I don't even know what I'm saying. I just feel like I'm bouncing off the walls. Okay, the last few things I needed to do before I left was just to water all my plants. I hope this isn't boring for you guys because typically I start my vlogging when I'm already at the destination. This is the first time I'm like showing you guys the day of before I leave. So if you would rather like these vlogs just start in the country, definitely let me know and I can take that feedback on board. But anyway, let's go water my plants. I'm just gonna give everything a really quick drink. All right guys, I'm ready to go. I'm officially packed. This is what I'm wearing. So I have my Burberry trench coat. This is a lightweight knit from Lily Silk. I have my blue Levi's jeans. These are the hourglass ribcage jeans and my Vejas. Jewelry is uh, all Primark actually. That necklace and that, those earrings are from Primark. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I made it to Paris, guys. <laughs> I just got to my room. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so excited. Let me show you guys the view from my window. Okay, I can see the Eiffel Tower from my room. I am actually like so excited. I'm staying at the Passy Eiffel Hotel. Oops, it's a bit dark. I'm staying at the Passy Eiffel Hotel. I got really lucky with this room because it's Easter weekend. The whole of Paris was fully booked and my sister actually told me about this hotel because she stayed here when she was here um, a couple years ago. They had two rooms available but they were these like single room configurations and I was a little bit nervous about booking it because it just looked so small in the photo and then the photo said that they didn't have air conditioning so I was worried that it just wouldn't have like a safe or a fridge but it has everything I need. So I'm going to show you guys a really quick room tour. It's really small but it's it's perfect and I can see the Eiffel Tower from my window. I, I just feel I I feel so overwhelmed to be here. You guys have no idea how long I've been wanting to come to Paris for and to finally be here is just, it doesn't feel real. Okay, anyway, enough rambling. Let me show you guys my room. So there's the door. 
And then I have a full length mirror over here, which is perfect. And then you just kind of pan over here. There's a small desk. I was not expecting to have like um, tea at all. I just honestly was expecting a very basic room. And then in here, I have a safe. I even have a fridge. I have a little wardrobe. So I'm going to unpack really quickly. And then this is my bed. So it's a single size bed. And the photos of the website literally just show this bed. So I was a little nervous when I booked it. But yeah, I mean, I don't need that much space. It's just me, so it's perfect for just me. It even came with this little chair. And then I have um, a little TV. And this is, hopefully you can kind of see something. This is the shower room. It came with towels. I even got some toiletries. This sink is more than big enough for just me. I have a blow dryer, which I won't be using, and of course, a toilet. How cute, like this mirror is big. This is like a true reflection of the size of the room. I paid about 120, no, I think about 130 pounds a night for this room. But I'm in the center of Paris. I have everything I need. I honestly was expecting just a bed. So I'm really grateful. I think this is more than enough for the next four nights. And I just want to quickly unpack and get out of here. So the plan for this evening is to go see the Eiffel Tower. I've seen it a little bit on the metro here. And oh my God, I was like trying to contain my excitement. And then I'm quite hungry. I want to get some dinner. I'm just going to take it from there. Like this trip is going to be really relaxing and chill. I haven't booked too many things. I'm just going to take each day as it comes. but my first full day in Paris, so does that make it day one? I'm not really sure. I've had a really slow morning. I don't know why I keep waking up at 3 a.m. Actually, last night I woke up at 3 a.m. and I had the realization that the woman that I met at the restaurant yesterday, maybe I told her too much about myself. I told her where I was staying. I told her where I lived in London. I told her how long I was in Paris for, and I was like, oh my God, what if she's like, a sex trafficker or something did i give her too much information and i'm here on my own and she has my phone number what if she can track my location like i decided to like work myself up and it kind of hit me that i'm here on my own it didn't last very long though i got back to bed in about an hour or so then i woke up again at seven so i didn't have a very restful night i was also very aware of my surroundings for whatever reason but i'm sure i'll, I'll have a better night's sleep tonight once I woke up, I decided to book the Louvre and a uh, cruise on the CN for tomorrow, which is Easter Sunday. So I'm really looking forward to that. 
I hadn't booked anything in advance for this trip and it almost worked against me. I guess because it's Easter weekend, a lot of the more popular things to do are fully booked this weekend. So I wanted to just book the Louvre through the museum pass originally and it's fully booked until well after I've left. So I had to book this like combination tour thing. That's worth mentioning if you're planning on coming to Paris, especially during a popular weekend, like a bank holiday weekend. I don't know what I was thinking. I had a bit of a wardrobe crisis this morning, but this is what I've settled on. This is from Zara. And then I have a Zara linen overshirt over it. I ironed it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like linen is just one of those fabrics. And then I have my white skirt. This is from Pretty Lavish and my beiges. So this is the outfit of the day. I also have my Celine shades. It's going to be 21 degrees today. I don't know where I'm heading off to. I just know that I want to get a croissant and I want to get a coffee, like an iced coffee and a croissant would be lovely. So I'm going to ask at the reception if they can recommend anywhere and hopefully they can point me in the right direction. Definitely want to do some shopping. I want to go to Poland. I want to go to Chanel. Let's just leave the room and we'll figure things out. So I have my little tote bag that I'm taking. I got this in Barcelona. And in there I have a tripod and some camera equipment. And I have my handy dandy Chloe bag that I take everywhere. got out of the first uh, second-hand designer shop I've been to on this trip. It's literally a two-minute walk from my hotel. They have some really nice stuff. And, but I've noticed that the prices of vintage Chanel here is a lot cheaper. The first bag I tried on was a small gold lamb skin and it was 3,400 euro. And then the second one I tried in on which was a medium silver hardware also in lambskin was 3,800 euro quite honestly i wasn't too impressed with the condition so i'm heading to another vintage shop now that one's a 20 minute walk so i think i might just take off my jacket and stroll down there it's a really beautiful day and really i would love to buy a chanel bag in paris like that's i feel like it's such an iconic move i really hope i can stumble across like a really well-priced used but still in great condition bag that would be my preference to like buying one brand new because obviously you save money
Happy Easter guys! Welcome to day two in Paris. Technically day three, but my full second, my second full day. It's Easter Sunday, so I'm wearing my lovely dress from House of CV. I'll show you guys in the mirror, but the light's not as good over there. I don't even know the last time I vlogged. Yesterday was like a full-on, very intense shopping day, and I definitely tried to do way too much. I had plans to take a nap and go back out for dinner. I was going to go to the Moulin Rouge. I don't know what I was thinking because I was exhausted. So today I'm definitely pacing myself a little bit more. I want to go down to the Rue de l'Université to take a photo in my dress. I really hope I can get a nice one. I have my tripod. I got a good night's sleep. I feel a lot more rested. I don't know what I vlogged, so maybe I should just give you like a run through of what I think I vlogged. Obviously, um, I really wanted to pick up a designer uh, handbag, preferably a Chanel one, but that didn't work out. But I ended up finding this beauty. This is my Celine. It's a vintage Celine bag and I got it at, I'll put the name. Oh, I actually kept the card because I wanted to show you guys. I got it at this shop. It's so close to my hotel. It was the first secondhand luxury shop I went to. I made a list of three. I made a list of four actually before I got here. I managed to hit up three yesterday, but this was the only one that I actually picked up something from. And they were so, so lovely. And then after that, I went to Polen. I went to Polen because there was one bag that I was thinking about seeing. I actually put it on my Instagram. I just wanted to see it in real life, but honestly, I really shouldn't have gone because at that point I already had my Celine and I wasn't gonna buy another brown bag. I was thinking about possibly buying a white Polen bag, but the white Polen bags are not white. They have like this gray undertone and I want more of like a creamy white. But honestly, I'm after a Chanel bag. That's like been my dream bag, which is a Chanel classic flap. All the vintage ones I saw were not in the best condition. And I had made a promise to myself that if I can't find a good vintage one or a good secondhand one because I've been looking for almost a year. I'm going to buy a brand new one and I think I'm getting to that point where I'm more comfortable. Obviously it's just I've never bought anything this much this expensive but I'm more comfortable with the idea of buying a brand new one. I went to the two Chanel stores on Montagna. They're literally right across the street from each other. I hope that's how you say the street name and none of them had the combination that I wanted but I was able to try on a medium one so the combination that I'm after is a medium um, Chanel classic flap with gold heart hardware and caviar I finally made up my mind on what I want first shop I went into the lady was so dramatic she was like we don't have that bag anywhere in Paris and I was like okay walked out of there swiftly went across the road the essay in that store was way more helpful then they had a black classic flap with caviar in silver hardware but I was finally able to try it one on at least so that was helpful and then she went through the list of all the different Chanel boutiques in Paris and she's given me two that potentially would have the combination that I'm after so I'm going to the Galleria's Lafayette today and I wanted to go there anyway because they have a beautiful view of the city from the rooftop so that's the plan so the plan for today is to go to the walk down to the Rue La Université take a really nice picture hopefully <laughs> and then I'm going to walk down to the Galleries Lafayette and hopefully find a strap for my bag potentially maybe buy a Chanel bag we'll see <laughs> and then I have booked the Louvre today at 1 p.m. I'm really looking forward to today it's going to be hopefully a beautiful day and yeah, let's just hit the road. I have no made no plans for breakfast or anything. I had three croissants yesterday. Two croissants and one pan au chocolat. Like the croissants here are absolutely amazing. I'm at the Cafe Le Marley. This is where I am. It's right by the Louvre. I had a very eventful morning after I finished taking photos, which I don't think I vlogged at all. That was that experience was actually very stressful. And then I went to the Chanel flagship store on on um, Rue Campon. They didn't have any bags that I wanted. And then I went to La Galleria Lafayette because they apparently had stock according to the Chanel store that I went to yesterday. Went there, the line was literally around the building. So anyway, I was able to get an appointment for Chanel, but not until tomorrow, tomorrow at four. So I rushed from there to the Louvre because I was supposed to have a tour here. Well, not a tour, but like a ticket. And I don't know if I got scammed or whatever, but I can't find, couldn't find the meeting spot. So now I've decided to come to lunch 
and I'm gonna keep trying to call them and hopefully I can get in on I'm starving. Let's see, what am I gonna go for? guys can you see how sweaty I am it's been such a stressful few hours I finally was able to locate my tour guide I got in at three even though my ticket was for one but they didn't say anything they just let me in so I'm not really sure what's going on or where I'm supposed to go but I'm gonna take you guys with me I feel like you're my friends on this trip <laughs> up at the Louvre and I actually changed my outfit. Let me take out my airpods. I wanted to get a picture in front of the Louvre in a different outfit so I'm wearing a similar outfit to what I wore yesterday and uh, after that I actually went to the Vilali's restaurant because I wanted to try and get dinner but they, the kitchen had closed so I uh, was able to get a glass of rosé and put up some stories on Instagram. And now I'm heading to dinner. So I found a place that I want to go to. It's called Boulon, Boulon Pigalle. It's meant to be really popular though, so that might be like an hour wait and I'm not I'm not willing to wait anywhere for an hour. I'm hoping I can get seated quickly because I'm on my own. That's one good thing about being a party of one. So I'm going to figure out how to get there and we're gonna see what it's like. But I'm having a really lovely day. The Louvre tour that I did came with River Cruise of the Sienne, so I'm going to do that tomorrow, I think in the evening. Look at this background, guys. <laughs> I, um, I always tend to feel rushed. You, know, you wanna see everything in a couple of days, but with this trip, because I have almost five days, actually, it just feels a lot more relaxed and I'm having a really good time. I don't know what this place is called, but if you see like the camera like cut out quickly, it's because I don't want to film people without their permission, or at least like not in a really obvious way. <laughs> it's a bit hard to vlog and not get people in your vlog. Okay, so I'm gonna touch base with you guys when I get to dinner. I need to save this battery and put my stuff away because I have to be cautious of the public. My bag has been open this whole time. Okay, I need to go.
day four in Paris. I can't believe it. My trip is coming to an end. Today's my last full day and I'm already thinking, oh my God, there's so many things I wanted to do that I'm not gonna have time to do. But it's fine because now I just have a reason to come back. Yesterday when I was vlogging at dinner, the restaurant seats were so close together that I felt really conscious. <laughs> like the couple sitting to my right, they were an older French couple and they were just like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> so after a while I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna record the food. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of my feedback from last night. The food was so affordable. Like the only reason why I picked that place is because I've never really been a fan of French food so I didn't want to spend too much money on it just in case I didn't like it and I think that was the best shout because I was able to like try a bunch of different things that I probably wouldn't have tried in a more like fancy restaurant the service was really good I got a really really nice waiter he was so friendly so accommodating I thought the food was pretty good the only thing I didn't like at all was the starter which is which was the the French onion soup to be honest I don't like soup anyway so it's not really a fair like thing like what do I expect but I didn't think I would like it, but I just wanted to try it and now I've confirmed that I don't like it, so now we know. I really liked the the main. I got the duck confit. I just thought that it was a bit dry, like I needed like a sauce or something. And uh, foie, foie gras, <laughs> my pronunciations are horrible. That's my first time trying it and I quite like that. And then for dessert, I got a chocolate and caramel tart that was delicious because obviously I love all things sweet. My whole bill with uh, two glasses of wine came to 30 euro, which is just like unheard of in Paris. So now I understand why the lines, as long as the lines are. Okay, this is what I'm wearing today. My Skims bodysuit. This skirt that I got from Topshop is actually too big. So you can see how it's like falling down. I have ironed the skirt. I've washed this skirt and it still has all these like marks on it so honestly i'm just wearing it like that i don't care anymore and then i have this white shirt on top of it um my shirt is from mango so top shop skims mango and obviously vasia so that i've been wearing every day this trip i have my celine i don't know if i showed you guys that i got this little strap i picked up this strap from jerome dreyfus but i think i might actually return it it's too red and it's also too short. I'm gonna see if they have a longer one, I might exchange it. If not, I'm just gonna return it and see if I can find a better one in London. So the plan for today, I wanna go to Angelina for breakfast slash brunch. Then I wanna go to Zara. Zara, I discovered in Barcelona, is so much cheaper in Europe than it is in the UK. So I'm definitely going to check out the Zara here. I'm going to the one on the Champs-Élysées because I still haven't been there yet. So I'm also gonna like do a little bit of perusing. I have an appointment at 4 p.m. at the Galleries de Lafayette at the Chanel there. And then I'm planning on going to the Eiffel Tower this evening. I have a cruise booked on the River Sienne. And I also wanna see the Eiffel Tower twinkle at night because I haven't seen it yet and today's my last official night. So that's a lot of stuff to do. And I'm actually starting to realize that like my knee's been hurting. I think I've mentioned that already. So I just really need to like pace myself, not walk too, too much. So I'm actually going to get an Uber to Angelina. It's a 10 minute Uber and it's like 25 minutes on public transport, 40 minutes walking. So I figure I'll save myself some time, get to It's like one of their more popular coffee shops. So I got an iced latte with oat milk and it's actually really good. And then right across the street, there's this garden that I've seen in a few vlogs and I thought I would come in. It's Easter Monday today, so hence why I'm sure it's so busy. But you know what? I thought I would sit in the sun and people watch a little bit. I'm so full from breakfast. I basically had two breakfasts because I couldn't decide and what I wanted to try more. And I have no regrets. The French toast was quite frankly the most incredible thing I've eaten this trip. I've never had French toast like that in my life. It was so good. 
Anyway, I will check in with you guys. I think when I get to Zara, I'm just gonna hop on the metro and finally get to the Champs Elysees. If you guys see that arch in the back, that was where I had the meeting point for my Louvre tour and right through that arch, hopefully you guys can actually see it, is the Louvre. This one? Yeah. The chocolate. Chocolate. Um, which one do you recommend? Uh, it's found. It's a row of roses, lychee and strawberry and it's quite good if you take it with a white wine. Pistachio? Yeah. And that's it, so you need something else. That's it, please. Honestly, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this, guys. I have purchased a Chanel bag. <laughs> I was successful fourth time. Actually, fifth time was the charm for me. I filmed an unboxing and a whole story time about the bag I bought. That might end up coming right after this video or before. I'm still so jittery about it. It's my last night in Paris. And for tonight, I wanted to do the River Sienne. I just got back from the cruise and I thought that I would try the macaroons with you guys. I have some wine. My good friend Kiki mentioned that I should have got champagne at Chanel and honestly it did cross my mind but I just didn't want to ask which in hindsight is ridiculous because I should have asked for everything. The cruise was so lovely by the way. Was it a cruise? I guess it was more like a boat tour. It was so so nice. These four macaroons were 10 pounds. So let's try this rose one first. Mmm. Wow. Let's try the pistachio one. This has been such an amazing day. I'm so grateful. Like, I don't want it to come across like, I don't realize what a blessing today has been this whole trip it's beyond exceeded my expectation people have been nice like you know what people say about french people i haven't felt unsafe at any point i haven't felt unwelcome at any point paris is beautiful it literally looks like some right of a postcard the weather has been amazing let's try another macaroon before i start crying or something embarrassing like that okay this is the chocolate one oh 
I wish I could get more of these. You know the nut that's in for Kinder Bueno? That's what this is. Funnily enough, this is my least favorite. And I love Kinder Bueno. The texture of this is not as chewy. One thing I want to say is I'm really aware of how like, it can come across like, oh, people are just traveling up and down and buying Chanel bags. That's not my everyday reality. I've had my Chanel bag on my vision board specifically for years. I wanted my bag since I was 18. And it means so much that I was able to buy it by myself. Obviously, it would have been great to get it as a gift, don't get me wrong. But it means that much more that I was able to buy it by myself. Like, I was able to save up for it and buy it. And I know, like, this is not a big deal to everybody, but I'm just, I feel really blessed and really grateful. I was a little nervous to come on this trip, I'm not gonna lie. You know, I've never been to France before, I don't speak French. I, I started to feel really nervous to the point where I was actually considering pushing this trip back. But I'm really happy that I didn't. And I hope this is an encouragement to anyone, especially females watching this who are considering solo traveling. There's something really lovely about it. Like, don't put your life on hold for anybody. Like, if you want to do something and you can't find anyone to do it with, and you're able to do it safely on your own, please do so. Paris is one of those cities that I think is really good for solo travel. This is a perfect last night in Paris snack. I literally just wanted to come on here and end the vlog. I still have until about 5 p.m. tomorrow in Paris, but tomorrow all I'm planning on doing is meeting up with one of my friends and I literally have not seen her since uni. So tomorrow's going to be an epic catch up. And the last thing I want to do is shove this camera in her face. I have not seen her in almost 10 years. I have about two hours after we have a lunch to kind of wander around. I still don't know what I'm going to do at that time. And then I need to come back to the hotel and my luggage and go to the train station. Out of all these macaroons, I think my favorite one is the pistachio one, which I know is really boring. Chocolate and pistachio are my favorite. The rose one was good, but it was really sweet. I can't believe it's my last night. I'm getting so emotional. <laughs> Can you tell that the wine is getting to my head? So I am going to sign off here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm thinking about making a video on like my solo traveling tips. So if you want to see that, make sure you leave a comment down below. And please let me know what your favorite part of this vlog was. Au revoir. My French is horrible. It's probably really, really bad. I'm so sorry.